the RN Grill 15 is a tier 10 Tech 3 German tank destroyer and is the unnatural hell spawn between Police Girl and Las Vegas. This tank was introduced in patch 9.15 and has been the disappointing little brother to the waffle trigger ever since. To defeat your xenomorph brother, you must unleash your inner NZR engine and camp that bush until RN Jesus decides you can have fun. Here is what you do. You buy rammer, gun laying drive, and camo net. You load about 2 thirds AP and save the rest for mixes or rounds to deal with Russian clone number 318. Most peasants think a gun laying drive is wasted on the grill. They are naive little shits. The reticle bloom this tank is cursed with on top of the RNG has a 50% chance of tricking you into thinking you have Parkinson's. The grill 15 is a casino on tracks, and you're just as likely to pixel snipe a target as you are to set your shell up for a blind date with the dirt. Just like the Scorpion G, the grill 15 is a paper tank with paper armor, and your ability to avoid damage is on par with Demi and Harrowin. However, the Grill 15 is capable of peekaboo brawling in the same fashion as the Scorpion. You carpe diem unsuspecting tanks with 150mm of slot machine before noping the fuck out of there and watch as the blind fire whizzes past you. Your thickest ass set is your camo rating. This tank is entirely dependent on how good you are at being solid snake. If you think a shot got you spotted, don't be afraid to immediately move after. Your reload has a ratio of 1 second per foot length of the fucking gun barrel, so you won't miss out on damage. Your speed gives you time to get back into position. However your track Travis has just been accepted by Miriam Webster as a synonym for fucking useless. Your AP has decent pen for its tier, and flat on can penetrate the OB100 Kenobi's turret. Also keep in mind, that just because the grill can go fast, does not mean it should, instead you play cautiously, taking advantage of choice situations, and racking up damage over time. Just like the Scorpion G, the grill's usefulness is entirely dependent on how long you keep your gun in the game. Play cautiously in the beginning, and use your speed, to adapt to the situation as the teams advance. Start training your crew with camo, drop for 6 cents, snapshot, clutch braking, situational awareness, intuition and say stowage once you 100% your first skill, since this chimera needs two poor bastards to load. Once you hit skill number two, drop for brothers and arms, retraining camo, and after that go back into hibernation for the next sweet little Aki video. This is the correct way to play the Star Wars Battlefront 50. Now you can impress everyone with your sick RNG. Go out there and grind 40 hours for Darth Object 279. I know I sound like a broken record by now, but I'm really sorry for vanishing again. If you want to stay informed on where I am slash what I've been doing, you should head over to the Sweet Little Aki Discord, since I'm usually lurking around there somewhere. Or if for some deranged reason you feel like funding my totally consistent upload schedule, consider donating on Patreon. I'll put the links to both in the description down below. Now that my trap cult anti-western feminist Zionist shilling is done, I've got a special announcement. As of November 5th, Sweet Little Aki now has its own clan, Kato. If you're on the NA server and want in, either message me on World of Tanks or Discord. Sorry to my EU fans at the moment, but uh, if enough demand exists, I'll certainly see about getting an EU detachment going. That's all for now. Make sure you have those bell notifications on since YouTube doesn't seem to know how subscriptions work. Buh boy.